On the screen, the intelligent power module of an inverter air conditioner electronic board is displayed. This electronic module receives single-phase alternating current from the external power grid and internally converts it from alternating current to direct current through the diode bridge. It manages the voltage of the new current through the PFC circuit. Remember that alternating current flows in two directions, while direct current flows in only one direction. The direct current, with the appropriate voltage, reaches the intelligent power module and is converted into three-phase current, capable of varying the frequency and voltage as required by the compressor. Remember that three-phase current uses three cables to power a motor and exhibits excellent performance in these devices. To achieve the conversion to three-phase current, this direct current is supplied in three different ways and in two opposite directions. To achieve this, six IGBT type transistors are fed, arranged in pairs to allow manipulation of the current direction with the following numbering. Let's start with the strategies to achieve the first sense of the current through the three coils of the compressor motor. 1. To allow the current flow to coil 1, it is essential to activate transistor 1. Simultaneously, transistor 6 must be activated to allow the current to flow through coil 2. 2. By activating transistor 1 to allow the current flow to coil 1, it is necessary to simultaneously activate transistor 2, enabling the current to exit through coil 3. Three, to allow the current flow to coil 2, the activation of transistor 3 is required. Simultaneously, transistor 2 must be activated so that the current can exit through coil 3. Let's continue with the strategies to achieve the second sense of the current through the three coils of the compressor motor. 4. Activating transistor 3 to allow the current flow to coil 2 is essential to simultaneously activate transistor 4, allowing the current to exit through coil 1. 5. To enable the current flow to coil 3, it is necessary to activate transistor 5. Simultaneously, transistor 4 must be activated to allow the current to exit through coil 1. 6. By activating transistor 5 to allow the current flow to coil 3, it is necessary to simultaneously activate transistor 6, allowing the current to exit through coil 2. In this way, the power supply of three lines is achieved in both directions, achieving three-phase alternating current.